Off the west coast of North America, a large school of fish is being harassed by multiple large marine reptiles. There are two types of plesiosaur, the 3-meter Morenosaurus and the 7-meter Hydrotherosaurus, and they are working together. They take turns either chasing the fish into a tight ball or striking into the tightly packed group of fish with their long necks to snag one or more of their slippery prey. It is a display similar to what some dolphins and sharks do in the modern day. As the plesiosaurs swim in the shallow water, they are joined by a completely different marine reptile. Drawn from deeper waters by the splashing comes a young Plotosaurus. He is a mosasaur, a family of reptiles whose closest living relatives are monitor lizards, though his ancestors took to the water and evolved flippers, broad tails, and more streamlined bodies. Plotosaurus is the most derived of the mosasaur family, with a more shark-like body, though he too feeds mostly on fish, and is no threat to the other reptiles. He watches the long-necked plesiosaurs herd the school of fish and pick them apart one after another, and quickly decides to join in. He forms in behind one of the larger Hydrotherosaurus. As it rounds under the fish, keeping them from escaping, the plesiosaur then rotates so its underside faces the surface and then propels itself upside down through the fish, catching two in its needle-like teeth. The Plotosaurus rotates himself, and then using his powerful tail, bursts forward to the top of the school of fish with his mouth wide open. Several fish are caught in his mouth that he snaps shut right before almost swimming face first into the smaller Moranosaurus. Fortunately, the Plesiosaur has great maneuverability and gracefully evades over the Plotosaurus. Swallowing his catch, the young Mosasaur returns to swimming around the school of fish with the other reptiles fitting in well with their formation. However, from behind the school of fish, some of the plesiosaurs are breaking the formation and swimming away. Just as the plotosaurus notices this, a huge creature bursts through the school of fish, its long jaws swallowing dozens in a single pass. The plotosaurus veers to the right, avoiding the new predator, knowing exactly what it was. Prognathodon a massive, heavily built mosasaur, over 10 meters long, and armed with thick, conical teeth. He too feeds on fish, but his main prey is other marine reptiles. Without the plesiosaurs herding the fish, the school scatters in all directions, and the prognathodon chooses his next target. The plotosaurus is the closest, and he turns himself around to begin pursuit. The smaller mosasaur turns his head and sees the large prognathodon moving in his direction, tucking his flippers close to his body and propelling itself with its broad tail. Now knowing he was being targeted, the plotosaurus swam for the deeper ocean, quickly accelerating. The larger mosasaur got up to speed quickly, but as he swam, the plotosaurus didn't seem to get any closer. Even when he pushed himself to max speed, he couldn't close the gap. This is where the Plotosaurus's streamlined form came into play. He may not be as powerful as his pursuer, but his lighter and more aerodynamic body requires less effort to push through the water, and his tail is better suited for swimming as well. The Pronathodon can push himself as hard as he wants, but the Plotosaurus is too far ahead, and this is not even his top speed. Soon the large predator breaks off pursuit, and swims to the surface to take a deep breath of air. The Plotosaurus doesn't stop, however, not until he reaches safety. Soon enough, he reunites with his family. The group of seven greet the startled youngster by running their snouts over each other's bodies. He is safe now. The full-grown adults can get to 12 meters long, but even they are vulnerable to other mosasaurs like Prognathodon, which is why they live in groups, to protect each other and help hunt down prey a lesson the youngster has quickly relearned. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be breaking down a very advanced marine reptile, Plotosaurus. Plotosaurus was a mosasaur that lived between 70 and 66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous. 
It was first discovered in California in 1942 and was originally given a name Colposaurus. However, this name had already been assigned to a separate species and so was renamed in 1951 to Plotosaurus, which means swimmer lizard. It reached lengths of 13 meters and weighed up to 5 tons, making it one of the longest mosasaurs, but certainly not the heaviest. It is often described as the most derived of all its family, meaning it's the most well adapted for an aquatic lifestyle. Its body has many adaptations from being more streamlined and narrow, to skin impressions showing that it was very shark-like. The skull was long, narrow and curved downwards, and the fins were much more streamlined to reduce drag. They also had rather large eyes and nostrils, for better vision and rapidly taking in air. In many ways, they are similar to ichthyosaurs, the most aquatic of all marine reptiles. At this point in time, ichthyosaurs had gone extinct, so it's possible that Plotosaurus was filling in the niche that those reptiles had left behind. Since it lived alongside plenty of other large aquatic reptiles, including other mosasaurs, Plotosaurus may have been the specialized fast fish hunter, while others of its kind took the role of apex predators. If it hadn't gone extinct, Plotosaurus's descendants may have become far more fish-like, taking on the roles that large, fast fish like mako sharks, marlins, and sailfish do today. So unfortunately, we don't know a great deal about Plotosaurus, especially compared to other members of the Mosasaur family like, well, Mosasaurus. But still, it shows signs of what some members of the species could have been evolving to. But what do you think of Plotosaurus? And do you like it depicted more like a water serpent, or more like a shark slash dolphin? What lesser known species would you like me to do a breakdown on next? And until next time, thank you for watching.